Hey, gang, the new AYG card game is available at RUGarbage.com right now. Do you want to get your loved one the perfect gift this year that might not arrive by Christmas? Because we can guarantee that these probably, definitely won't show up on time. We got 50 new questions to prove whether your family or friends are absolute trash. Pick them up at RUGarbage.com. Woo! Do it. New York City, baby. We're doing the biggest show we've ever done at the Town Hall Theater. May 9th, grab some tickets. Come see the boys. Stand up comedy. Play a little AYG with the crowd. Yeah, tickets are moving fast. Everything's available at rugarbage.com. Get them. Army of Garbage Unite. New York City, Connecticut, New Jersey, Delaware, Wyoming, wherever you are. Let's party, baby. We love you. Love you. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's new favorite podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Oh, yeah. It's that little show we sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they're good to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Trash, trash, trash. I'm your host, Stage Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're out back here at Tootie's in the new edition. I cannot get her to stop rooting through the Christmas presents. Okay. She's looking for the Lorazepam that I got her. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Generic, I presume. <laughs> See, you got to wait till Christmas Day like everybody else. Don't... My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of Are You Garbage. He is an international businessman, what? and he is not to be trifled with in the boardroom or the bedroom. Give it up for KJ, Kevin James Ryan. What up, gang? Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, view, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you know, those numbers are... True to roof. Cooking. Cooking. And obviously, the greatest website of all time, www.patreon.com slash Are You Garbage. You go over there, you get all your bajillion hours of bonus content, gang. And also, too, let's not be remiss, uh, Town Hall New York City tickets are on Baby. show right now. The biggest show we ever done. Get them tickies. Let's go, New York. Come out and see the boys. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the old magic man. Mm -hmm. Makes us all look good. Works the ones, the twos, the threes, and the fours. He crosses the T's and he dots the I's. Give it up for T-Bone McScruff and Toby McMullen, everybody. What up, boys? What excited? Up, I'm so excited. Yeah. We got one of my favorite comedians on planet uh, Earth in here. Favorite people. Yeah. Just great dude. When I told him I quit drinking, and I watched the light leave his eyes. I was <laughs> upset. I was truly He pulls upset. out his phone and deletes your number. Uh, who's going who go to who's gonna go to Old Town Ale House with me for one more <laughs> every night? All right, man. Take care. It's good knowing you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm Gang. sure it'll all work out for you. <laughs> <laughs> Gang, the long hair ain't lying. We couldn't be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special mm -hmm. guest, back with us again today. He's been a minute. We're fucking boys. We love him. He's got a brand new special out right now that you got to check out. The Blue-Eyed Mexican, available on his YouTube page, and it was produced by Leanne Kreischer and Bert Kreischer. Mm -hmm. It's available on Bert's YouTube page. You got to check it out. Give it up for Mr. Shane Torres, everybody. Hey, Let's go. Hey. You. Let's go. Here we go. We are. And here's, here's the capper. The last time you were here, it's been a while, which I can't believe Very it's been early that on long. in the show. Yeah. You're not going to believe it to look at them. I got too big for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, boys. Yeah. I came here to say, stuff it. <laughs> deemed it. classy. You were deemed classy. Yeah. I yeah. had to go back. It was I'm a like, few years back, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very early on in the show. We hadn't had the full you know, line of questioning down yet. We yeah. were still a little fresh to the game. I was like Kevin Spacey pulling it together. <laughs> yeah. Started limping out of there. And, and it's like, funny. Oh, no, it's floss or whatever you can <laughs> whatever, you, whatever it is people don't do on this show. <laughs> now uh, I got all my teeth. Man. Uh, <laughs> people ask us, well, who's been classy? And you know, we have a couple of like standard answers like, oh, Segura was classy. This one was classy. Never. Did we ever think? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, it's cause he, is it because we ate dough-wrapped hot dogs on top of the rail? <laughs> well, I forgot about that. We did do that in the middle of fucking Heartland, Texas. The man Heartland, likes Texas. a kolache. <laughs> They're great. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I love them. That, that was wasn't a, a Bucky's, right? No, no that was um, the, the uh, check stop. Slovacek. Not the check stop. Slovacek. Slovacek. Yeah. That's how you know I'm actually trashed is because I know there's two rival trucks. <laughs> yeah, right next to each other. other. <laughs> highway. <laughs> We're a Bucky's family. We yeah. walk yeah. in. Shane, how you yeah. doing? <laughs> Man, I forgot <laughs> about that car ride. Yeah. That, we went to see the Cowboys game. Yeah, we drove Cowboys from Eagles. Moon right. Tower in Austin. Yeah. And you were going home to Dallas. We were doing a show in Dallas, which is what? That's like a four hour, maybe three? Three and a half, yeah. With the Kalachi stuff. 
stop it yeah, for. Let's yeah, be honest. Yeah. The Kalachi stop was the real reason that we were all yeah. together and the real, real reason <laughs> that we were going we out there. 70 minutes in a car without some kind of hearty snack. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dude, like, well, we, we could have took the highway and been there in an hour. Uh -huh. we, we went halfway around <laughs> Texas <laughs> yeah, yeah. on a local road. It's, it's a touch out of the way, but I think it'll be. <laughs> to get a Ukrainian pastry. You know, like in <laughs> Texas. It. That's actually it's Czech. <laughs> we didn't know what they were. He's like, Kalachi, Kalachi. Kal we're like, all right, whatever. And we stopped. And it's like a Hot Pocket S it's type a, thing. A, it's like a giant fancy pig in the blanket. Pig, and it, you can get pepperoni. You can get yeah, sauce. Like, and they make, savory this place makes their own sausage, yeah. which is like probably the best thing about it. Like, the little jalapenos and cheese in them. Mm -hmm. They're like... Uh, I mean, they're like a Swiss burrito or something. <laughs> sure, yeah. <laughs> and I mean, I'm not even fucking around. We ordered about 14 that's also pounds. what I say when I unroll. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Swiss burrito. <laughs> you want mild or picante sauce? <laughs> Tell me. But that, yeah, that was a wild, yeah. And then we went to the game. Then we went to the Cowboys game. Yeah. E uh, Monday night, Eagles, Cowboys at, Cow at, at yeah. the Cowboys and the Eagles law. It was, it was a, I think it. It wasn't a it wasn't a rope though. Like I think it was it wasn't, competitive, I, I, but they ran away with it. It was they, closer than it looked. I we thought. were booed out of the stadium. Yeah, we, we I think we left like halfway through the fourth quarter. Yeah, um, we did leave early. I also the thing I also remember is us like going completely around the, the Cowboy Stadium is massive. So yeah. like we all got our steps in. Oh yeah, because yeah. we were like going well, it didn't help when we got to the seats and the three of us were all <laughs> hunched in. Yeah, that was <laughs> banana. Yeah. Dude, we're so we walked into that place and we were walking into Disney World like, look at his joint. Oh <laughs> my god! Well, I'm sitting next to you and like I remember like two quarters into the game you were like, Jerry Jones is a genius. <laughs> Figured out a way to make everybody pay 500 bucks bucks to watch his big ass TV. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to him. But Ben, classy. We got we got to we got to dig oh, back. There's got to be dirt under the bit. fingernails yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, I think I got away with some of it. Because because a lot of it was childhood based, and 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 you, and you really pulled the wool over our eyes on on that. You know what he does that is very classy that we've done a handful of times. It's a very gentleman esque thing. Now that I think it just popped in my head, we'll be somewhere, we'll run into each other doing spots somewhere yeah. in the city, and we'll have like an hour each have like an hour we're or two like, to we got, kill. We're in between times. We're in between yeah. times. And the whole I like, think that's what they say about Alzheimer's patients. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the, the, uh, grandma's in between times. <laughs> she thinks she I'm thinks, a sailor. <laughs> she thinks it's 1942. <laughs> She's, Are you going to the parade? <laughs> He'll do this thing where he invites you out for a drink. He does this, like, let's go grab a beer. Then you yeah. get there and you sit. Yeah, it's very yeah. gentleman-y. It's not like... It's not like drinking. It's enjoying each other's. Yeah, company. we're not getting shit faced. We're having like we're having two a catch beers. up cocktail. So yeah, then going a catch all, up cocktail, not yeah. the condiment. Whoa. Yeah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> we get a Heinz on the rocks. Yeah, yeah. but it's Dude, very like uh, cocktail. And don't and, and you just see a guy like doing this into a martini glass, <laughs> <laughs> hitting a fifty. He's like, you got to hit it on the fifty seven. That's a, a dirt bag. So you dating anybody yeah. now? Yeah. <laughs> But it's very adult. It's very like we sit there, we catch up, we don't get wasted, and then we will go on about yeah, our Yeah, it's night. also like fun. It's easier than like yeah. a like, well, there's nine of us here, so we should all, like somebody wants to do a shot. Sure, like, yeah. yeah. There's it's too very, many variables with like, Southern more. gentlemen. It's very metropolitan. It's yeah, like, what yeah, you I'm, think very, you, yeah. I'm very <laughs> metropolitan. I'm here in a Rocky Three painting. <laughs> <laughs> I wore it for you guys. Oh, thank <laughs> you so much. <laughs> Oh God! Okay. Well, All right. Where are you living now? Are you, I'm st I'm still in. I mean, I can't remember when I was here last, or, or like what time. But like, I'm still in Bushwick. Okay. But, uh, I'm I'm over that shit. O own uh, place or you got roommates? I got a roommate. Still. You got a roommate. Yeah, got How a, many? This special needs to take off. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Let's yeah. go. How I many roommates? Room I got I got one roommate. Okay. I'm, mar I'm married to her. I, no, I got one roommate. This dude, Buckley. Hold on, that's somebody's joke. It's really that's somebody's joke. I'm sure it is. It's kind of hacky. And so the, the, oh, no, the, wo the woman that lives with me. No, yeah. yeah. Uh, Ali Sadiq said that. Yeah, the woman that lives the in my house. The woman that lives in my house. house. <laughs> yeah. Do you ever hear Ron White at that bit where he goes, somebody asks him, like, how many wives you got? Have you been? How many times have you been married? He goes, four or five. I can never remember that tall one's name. <laughs> <laughs> that's all right. I love me some Ron White. He's the best, man. He's the funniest. <laughs> roommate. One roommate, but that's New York. That's Yeah. It's you like, can't trash that. Yeah, and my thing is, like, I'm gone um, as much as you guys. Sure. So, like, I need somebody to More. Be, you're gone. You're on the road all I the time. I need somebody to throw out the 
tub of lettuce I leave in the fridge <laughs> that I never fucking eat. <laughs> hey, it's a bowl of ramen in my room. You want to get that out of there? <laughs> it's like liquefying, and I've been home for two days. Uh-huh. And I still haven't tossed it. What's the What's the bed situation? You got a king. You got a queen. I got a queen. You got a queen. Temper meet it. Te- Temper meet it. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, that was the first thing I ever spent money on. Like okay. when I got like five grand on the mattress. Five G's on Holy the mattress. Holy shit, you have a five thousand dollar I really was doing well for a little bit. <laughs> I, I had a great month. Does I it had... go up and down or anything? No, it's not a hospital bed. <laughs> Jesus. Can you like eat there's that just thing? A, a, a hoagie suspended and I raise myself up for a bite? Put the guardrails up it's, at night. It's like got a, a Mountain Dew IV. <laughs> it's like <laughs> Dude, five G's That's for a lot of queen, money for a But bed. I like I was like, I don't know why I justified it to myself so much, but I spent a lot of money on them. And by the way, it is not a five thousand no, dollars. You don't get a five thousand dollar night's sleep. Yeah, well, yeah. it is one of those things they say you spend, you know, whatever an eighth or a, a third of your life in bed. And so when you are home, you're on the road, you're traveling yeah. so much. It's like when I'm home, you want to be comfortable. Yeah, like eighth. that's the thing to spend money on. An eighth, yeah. you'd sleep twenty minutes a night. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> be all strung out. I got some well, things chasing the other, me. The other half, the other seven hours is eating and beating <laughs> off. Sure. So, hey, What's okay? So. <laughs> Five thousand dollar mattress. Yeah. Uh, do you have a fitted sheet? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I gotta follow, what, follow pro- fuck- I gotta follow protocol here, Mister Fitted here, sheet. <laughs> yeah, fitted I mean, sheet. Wild. Well, you just have like a sure. bag of raccoons <laughs> at your last guess. <laughs> 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 that's fucking insane. A fitted sheet. Are you barebacking <laughs> it or what are you I'm doing? I'm assuming if people get on this podcast, they have like <laughs> a sheet. They're not paying for everything in Confederate money or anything. Like, <laughs> That's Who the true. fuck doesn't have a finished sheet? <laughs> I didn't for a long time. Well, yeah, a long time. We're 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 men of means. Now. Yeah. <laughs> Spent all this money on ketchup cocktails. Spent all this money on this mattress. I forgot to say something for the pillow. Uh-huh. Shit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some towels wrapped around it. All right, fitted sheet, nice comforter, solid. It's Pendleton, nice. Like um, he dropped the name. He drops I don't the even name. know what well, that like, is. But you know, like that's like a, it's like um. Western like uh, shirt brand stuff, but they make blankets and stuff too. But like, That's okay, pretty like, good then. You gotta have a brand name comforter. Does you it guys have a... both have girls, right? Yeah. 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 So like, I needed a, uh, a comforter that was. Not all one color because mm-hmm. that's what every guy. It's sure. always black, white, or you know, like sure. gray or something. And yeah. to find one that is not just one solidified color or like a have a Yankees logo on it, like, <laughs> like Go it's Mets. really difficult. It looks that looks masculine. Sure. You know, like so, I like I spent a lot of time researching. I was like, because I, I wanted something when a w- woman walked into my room. They're like, I gotta fuck this guy in a race car bed. Kind <laughs> yeah, of energy, yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. I see you really like Iron Man. Huh? <laughs> 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 Your head's where Tony Stark's head would be. <laughs> He's got old. the Hulk gloves on. <laughs> I and the suit are one. <laughs> yeah, I brought protection. <laughs> Puts out a life Rocket saver. launcher comes out of my chest. <laughs> Uh, okay. All right. He's very ca- he's very thoughtful and calculated, which we found in the scaling of things makes you not garbage. Mm-hmm. You, you you collect information and you make decisions based upon that. Yeah, but I am a I am garbage in like with what we were talking about with food earlier. I'm oh, garbage sure. in like certain areas. Sure, you know, but like <laughs> certain well, arenas. Yeah, and I, and I I'm a hall of famer. Well, in some of them. what's the room like? If we walked into the room right now, is it is it spick and span? Is it clean? It's, I keep a tidy room, but okay. it's like a, it's also like got a little bit. I want to say like hoarder energy, but there's like random shit in places. You're like, what is this about? What okay, like, can you like, give me an example? Yeah, of what one? are you sure. talking about? So one of my, well, I bought a bucket of dry erase paint. <laughs> so it's like, you know what this like? Yeah, so it turns the wall into a dry erase. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So my whole wall is like a giant to do list. Gotcha. For work purposes. Or doodling. It's just, like, it's, just like, it's a list of sandwiches. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> One day. <laughs> I'll get that chicken yeah. farm. But like, and then sometimes like, so there'll be like a list of like, you're here this week. You're like, you're doing this, that, like sure. that kind of, and then it'll also be like, you fucking idiot. This person's got this and you have nothing. Oh, like, so, oh like, really? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I like that. <laughs> yeah, it's like, there's like a one, one thing. Well, I, was, I was dating this gal for a while and I wrote on the, I was really mad. At somebody we all know. Oh, I like that. And yeah, I, 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 I didn't know you had wrote, that. Wrote, you got a grudge wall? Down, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I wrote on the wall, 
people are liars and they will steal from you. And she was like, what the fuck is this about? Man, you're cuckoo. Yeah. And I like, like it. yeah, but I like, I get motivated things to do. Call I, the FBI I get more motivated that way. So like, no, I like that for, uh, for, I think five years on the screensaver on my phone was no one's coming to save you. Yeah. And, and I was at New York comedy club and some, some other comic <laughs> saw that and was like, what the fuck is that? You're like you Steve mean- Buscemi and Billy Madison. Yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> It's a little um, people are liars. It's a little intense sometimes. I think I like, love it. But That's like, great. like, you know, like yeah, some it looks people. Like Ray Finkel's room. <laughs> <laughs> Laces out, Dan. You know, some people are like tough. Like we'll like write like tough times never last. Tough people do like. <laughs> It's like that, but like the reverse with of a that. tinge of uh, yeah. you know, like like Man, that's awesome. it's not going great. Suck my yeah. dick, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, it's not about optimism for me. It's about motivation. Sure, people I'm... people will lie and stab you in the back. <laughs> Your hey, mother, it's great meeting your you. Mother never loved you. <laughs> your mother never loved you. Your mother never loved you. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. That's a thing. Okay. Um, shared bathroom in the apartment? Uh, one and a half bath. One and a half bath. Yeah. Uh, okay. How long will you use your towel for? Let's say you're home for a little while. You're home for um, a few weeks. How, how many, how many runs? Home, and how many do you I, own? Mm. I have four towels, probably. Wow. But that's I got, well, I got single like, guy. That's pretty good. I'm a big that's dude. Great. Yeah, I'm a big dude, and I got long hair. So like, okay. that's okay. like, but I will use at least two towels every shower. Mm-hmm. Like, really? Because the hair, like the hair, just stays wet. So I need to like wrap it up. Like I do the mom the lady of, thing. Yeah, you yeah, do. Yeah. And do you do the towel around you too? Yeah, but up here. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> I do it. I do it through the top. Just cover hanging the, brain. Cover the, cover the bags. <laughs> He got something. I give them a little. They see a little neck. <laughs> see a little peak. Uh, oh, wow! Yeah. And so, how many times will you use both of those towels before you wash them? Uh, like a week, maybe two weeks. Like Is that showering every day. But I, yes, but so I also five? like. I, I get. I drop my laundry off because I'm gone so much. I wouldn't do it that much. It's easy for me to do to the just towels drop it all, because yeah. I just throw it all in when I come, sure. come home. Yeah. So it's like it's a little bit of a cheat. Okay. Yeah. All but right. it's, it's efficient. Yeah. That's pretty. Oh. You don't blow dry the hair. No. And are you flossing every day? No, never. No, not even like. <laughs> When's the last? Is time there you... any floss in your apartment? There, I got the sticks. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. But that's as needed. Or you know, well past. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, <laughs> They're still I, unopened. I fucking hate flossing. Uh, uh, I, it's gross. It hurts. It's the only thing that I do on a regular basis. Really? The only good. I don't know why. It's the only good habit that I have. I have to mentally floss before I brush my teeth. Otherwise, I don't feel like I've brushed my uh, teeth. See, I should, like, try and implement it in the way where I'm thinking about it. Like, uh, Of course I do it when I am I should brush my teeth. And of mm-hmm. course, that's when I should do it. But I'm just so fucking lazy. Write yeah. it on your wall Sometimes, I, honestly, yeah. God, sometimes <laughs> I know I need to brush my your teeth. Your dental floss wants to kill you. So, oh, yeah? Sure, I like, but I'll, like, eat food. Like, I'll have eaten food, and I'm like, I'm tired, and I just, like, sleep. Sure. Oh, yeah, I'm, ba- I'm bad at brushing my teeth at night before I go to yeah. bed. Yeah. Is that fucking so it's sad? It's crazy. It it's feels the one thing like our mothers tried to install in all yeah. of us, and I can't brush your get... teeth before you go to bed. It feels good though. It feels naughty, dude. To what? Not to n- not do it. <laughs> it feels I get that. Feels... I, I do that with my contacts too. I'll sleep in them. I'm a dirty little <laughs> dirty little whore. <laughs> Does that hurt? Uh, these he's I, legally uh, blind, <laughs> but no. I have daily ones now. But for a long time, I had like weeklies and monthlies, and I would sleep in them. And every once in a while, I would cut my cornea. And I would be in agonizing pain for like 48 hours. Ugh. Brutal. I would have to hold my eye to an air conditioner to, to, to keep it cold. Okay, let's talk about Helix. Shout out to Helix. I slept in one last night. Might have shot shit to bed. Woo, gang. If it. Is- <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you want from I'm me? I'm broadcasting It's here. a great mattress. Gang, if a Helix is not on your Christmas lift, you're a goddamn idiot. Because uh-huh. it's the best night's sleep you ever had. Get some shut-eye. Do yourself a favor. Reach out to Santa. Write him a letter. Send him a fax. Send him an email. Mm-hmm. Something. Do whatever you got to do. Send one of those Chinese space balloons up there to the North Pole. Say, hey, Pops, send a Helix to the kid. Because uh-huh. they are comfy. Uh, Yeah, it's sorry. I got the California King sleeping it every night. Uh-huh. Woo-wee. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I I have three of them at this point. I got two at the house in the burbs. I got one at this place and one at my wife's boyfriend's house. <laughs> I want them comfortable. You guys, just take a quick little quiz on there. She website. was coming back with a bad back. <laughs> and their experts will let you know what will give you. She's going to be upset about that. We'll give you the best night's sleep. 
Whether you're a big and tall sleeper like the big man, you run hot, you want Helix's cooling technology, whatever you want, they got you covered. So right now, Helix is offering 20% off all mattress orders and two free pillows for all you garbage listeners. Go to helixsleep.com slash garbage. Use the code HELIXPARTNER20. And that's helixsleep.com slash garbage, code HELIXPARTNER20. This is their best offer yet, and it won't last long with Helix. Better Sleep starts now. Do it. Do it. This episode of Are You Garbage is brought to you by BetterHelp. Mm -hmm. Gang, sometimes life seriously sucks. Yep. We all know that. You get jammed up, especially around the holidays. Real kick in the dick it can be. Start feeling that. You know what helps? Talk therapy, baby. Mm -hmm. Get on the phone. Get on the text. Privacy your own home. Get on BetterHelp and talk it out. Yeah, if you've never uh, have done talk therapy, you, you just give it a shot once. Everybody's got gets a tight head. You get upset. You get mad. You're frustrated. Job, work, whatever. Family. Trust me. Family drives you up a freaking wall. <sighs> Uh, but their therapy friends can, too. It's a great tool. You can use it for a couple of weeks. You can try it out once, whatever. You can use it long term, whatever you need. Their therapy is completely online, so you can meet with a counselor wherever and whatever works for you. Uh, if you want to be on your car, your lunch break, great. You can meet with your therapist over a video call, phone call, or even message. To get started, take the quiz on their website, and BetterHelp experts will match you with a therapist. If their first pick isn't a winner, you can switch at any time, no questions asked. In the season of giving, give yourself what you need with better help visit betterhelp.com slash garbage today to get 10 percent off your first month that's betterhelp h-e-l-p.com slash garbage do it gang do it how often do you guys change your sheets well they got the birds yeah I see it's it's doing. interesting oh, okay. you're a single guy so anything you do that's once a year is better than yeah. yeah like my my sheets could like fold out like a like a tray of freshly made pasta like, like, <laughs> like, like so you don't wash the sheets not as much as i should it's like yeah it's like once a month i change them that, that's, that's as a single, pretty, dude, single that's that's like, pretty good. like i'm disgusted sure i get yeah, it I but mean, like as old, again buddy, single i dude, don't think i ever washed my sheets when i was fucking no. li- when i was living i would so. wear i would use them till they were horrible and then i'd put them on I'd buy, go buy new ones. And so I was like, these are unsalvageable. <laughs> and not that long I ago. twice in there. <laughs> within the last eight years, I was sleeping on just a mattress. I didn't have a fitted sheet. I actually kind of like it. Or I you kind of like it? I don't think I had pillow oh, you like, like You either. like the texture of the roughness? Yeah, yeah I like the yeah. feel of it. You're like a bear just scratching <laughs> himself. Now, the tree. You know what I learned? Uh, my wife taught me that I don't know. I didn't know. Is you're supposed to. I think the common thing is like if you buy bed sheets, you wash them before you put them on. Oh, yeah. I hate that. I wash my really? clothes before I put oh, them I on. Ne- oh, I, I, never, I don't never do. I've never ever I'll done put, that with no. any package thing. No. Really? It goes no. right on the bed. Yeah. At a beach towel, anything I use. Right I got I, I to wash my T-shirts before I, I put them on. I cook my hamburger meat. <laughs> <laughs> right package them out. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hamburger meat. Oh, you would say oh fuck! Hamburger, hamburger meat's meat. the trashy version. It's ground beef. <laughs> Set of ground beef. <laughs> uh, yeah, that is. Yeah, I, I wouldn't even argue. Mister yeah. Four Towels over here. Huh? <laughs> yeah. We got That's this guy in the ropes. <laughs> <laughs> Burger King napkins. Okay. Huh. Is your hamburger meat is trash? <laughs> yeah. Hamburger meat is trash. It is. It's a fuck. Yeah. It's like. They don't know it comes from a cow. Yeah. We were asking the other day, what's the thing that you look in in the car to see what's behind you? What's the th- a rear view? Oh, I, I'd say I'd say rear view mirror. mirror. You do say mirror. Yeah. What Not rear view mirror. Mirror. I say mirror. Mirror. You got the R. The, the, yeah. I, 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 I get. I finished the word. Yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I say rear view mirror. Yeah. Mirror. 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 M-E-E-R. But is this an accent thing, or is this like a trashy thing? It's a ever? trashy it's thing. It's a trashy really? dialect. Yeah. yeah. Rear view Here, take a beat and say it naturally. Go ahead. Rear view mirror. He says mirror. No, he's got the other R in there. It's real. Yeah, he, he does it like me. It's M-E-E-R-O-R. Yeah, mirror. Okay. It's not mir- mirror. Mirror. Rear view viewing. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my view and, triangle and, and, is... <laughs> huh. Okay. Mirror. Is your phone screen currently cracked? No, but oh, it, I that, I that is a bless. Like that, it has been so many times. It's just not currently. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Where, where do you put the towel when when you're when you're done with it? Do you hang it over your bathroom door, or do you have a place for it? I I got a hook a hook that hangs off the bathroom door, but oftentimes I will like I'll shower and then I'll just be like in the towels like laying on my bed. Nice. Like I've done it, that. Yeah. yeah, that ain't classy. It feels That's real not, fresh. Though. It feels like a like a good wet blanket. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, are you biting the nails or do you clip them? Oh, I'm. These are just like little anxiety. Sure. Numbers. You're gnawing on yeah, yeah. them. Oh, like crazy. 
Where do the bitten, if you're in your house, if you're hanging out in the room, you're hanging in the living room, bite a nail, where's it going? Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> fucking ask me these questions. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You, oh, you, he's on his own. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they, they go wherever I'm at. Okay. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll fucking, uh, it's, it's a crime scene. It is. It's sure. Who cares? Is yeah, good. Who fucking cares? You're going to ma- get mad at me mm. about that. Do you even love me? That's <laughs> <laughs> true. If you can't have me, my yeah, worst. But that's like a thing. Uh, you guys have girls, so like I think that'd be a bit. More I get yelled at. They, they. I'm that, also. A, it is the... gross, but it is a bachelory thing. Sure. Yeah. I will try to do it. I will try to. Hopefully, there's some sort of empty water bottle around me, or a soda can, or something <laughs> I can put them. Hold in. Hold up, putting them into something that should be recycled is fucking disgusting. What do you mean? <laughs> like, like, so you clip them, and then you're like. I it's don't like clip them. I'm biting them. You're biting them, or they're, but they're coming off. They're coming. You're off. spitting you're, them in there like sunflower seeds. Yeah, you're, you're like I take a, a hillbilly taking dip and just. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's 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 as gross as when someone. You're leaving like, them on the floor. Yeah, behind the couch is the correct answer. That's <laughs> the gentleman. I move. get yelled at for that because then she'll clean behind the couch and then I it's, get a rash. I always shit. get excited <laughs> about that. Like I can't wait till we finally pull this couch out and vacuum to see. I kind of think about it that way too. Yeah, and then sometimes like if you hear like it suck up and it's like. And you hear me like that's a lot of yeah. That's a lot of me. I also have this weird that's thing. I yeah. also have this weird thing that if if my fingernails somewhere and civilization gets wiped out and aliens come, they might find my fingernail and 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 recreate me, clone me. Or he something. said that to me one of the I, first times I met him, and I've never looked at him the same. So I, was you like, I thought gonna, we were gonna chill. Dude. You think they're gonna come back? They're like, we're gonna go to this apartment in what used to be Queens and <laughs> Jurassic Park us and H Foley. <laughs> Just annoying everybody. Yeah, then, hey, what's up with all your weird spindly fingers? <laughs> you guys got fitted sheets? Yeah, right, what's the deal? You got hamburger meat in that thing? <laughs> all right. Uh, are there any uh are there any milk crates in your apartment? For storage, records. Yeah, for sure. Jeez. Yeah. What's in it? Is, is it records? It, it's there's records, but the skulls of my enemies. <laughs> <laughs> Sitting down with Predator. <laughs> um yeah, there's uh, the records and like some, and there's another one with like cleaning shit in it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and then uh, who the d- records are also we have a bunch of them. They're also on a bookshelf that's sideways though, like down. Oh. So that's kind of not. Yikes. Uh, yeah. It's can a you curve. Tell, can Single you, guy. It's a curve. Can you tell that it's the bottom of it isn't on the ground? You like is it kinda, that I don't, think, I don't think you would notice. Honestly, it looks. <laughs> it's like it's. It looks like like it belongs the way it is. Really, okay. I think, but. Uh, no huh. woman is no woman in my apartment has ever noticed it. Yeah, what that, so that that's like yeah. All right, have you? Do you have now, or have you ever had a Foot Locker? N- no, no, uh, never like had a Foot Locker. That's a, you mean at a, the bottom, you like mean a, a chest at the trunk? bed. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm a GI. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, well, Grandpa had this in the war, looked it all across Europe. And now, <laughs> well, we had it when we were yeah. kids. It's a bunch of Nazi memorabilia <laughs> when I opened it or something. <laughs> Yeah, a oh. bunch of German fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair oh, enough. Hmm. Uh, will you dance at a wedding? I do now. You do now. Yeah, I do now. What's but... now? What's the caveat? Well, why, well, like, I, like it's like a, it's like a thing. Like, I didn't do it mm-hmm. for so long, and it's like, what are you doing? Have yeah. fun. Yes, yeah. But it, I am. If I am dancing, I am lit for sure. You're hammered, and I like. Open bars are a scam. Or uh, bar bartenders at weddings is a scam. It sucks, but I make sure my friends get their money. At a, like, what do you mean? My friend told as me the dollar, am- the dollar amount. He, my buddy told me at his wedding, per head for the bar was uh-huh. sixty six dollars a person. Is what he had to pay. Like, and I was like, there's, I was like, there's, fr- I for sure drank a, like three hundred dollars worth of. Nice. Like, yeah. So that's like, trashy that's though. Maybe, you're counting. Uh, yes. You're up there going, well, Michelob on I the was, street. I is- was taking shots out of wine glasses, like I. <laughs> God. And this was also this wedding was at the last place Amelia Earhart was ever seen alive. <laughs> so, <laughs> we were, In the like, air or just like, like at a store? Uh, yeah, like it was at the store. No, like this was a like a, a speaking like some historical building in L.A. And they're like, she okay. spoke here the night before she like flew, and no one ever. <laughs> Oh, someone just told us that too. Yeah, yeah. Someone just mentioned that. Yeah. We were just right there. Someone. I got drunk. No, in. I was talking about the Amelia Earhart lookout in Hawaii. No, I know what it happened in LA. I remember someone was like, Amelia Earhart was right here. Yeah, I can't remember where yeah, though. I can't yeah, pull it. yeah. It was uh, Ian Carmel's wedding. If you guys know him, I don't know if you. No. He wrote. Oh, I do know. Yeah, I mean, I know him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. Um, okay. I uh, I'm a big proponent of that too. Of it was instilled in me early from a a booze bag family of. 
I've never met an open bar I haven't beat. Yeah. Like, so, like, I mean, if, what if, are you if it, no, uh, I mean, dude, even an open bar, even at like a resort, if they're like, it's a thousand dollars for the week, but it's open, you know, it's open free food and free beer, I'm like, I'm, Get leaving, after I, it. I'm leaving with something. Yeah. Do you guys think that's a, like on the cruises when they do the like the booze, like how much booze you get? Excuse me. Everyone who buys the booze packet, like the Supreme one was like a 700 bucks, but mm-hmm. you get to drink all you want for 40. Mm-hmm. You think the move is like everyone just gets ripped because like they're like, we don't have to pay for anything. So on the second day, they're like, their intake drops. Like, huh. do you see what I was like? It's like there's like, like a, a strategy a by the crew. Like, it's like, you know, like the first night of every comedy festival, you're like, I'm not getting trash. And then you get fucking shit face. Sure. Uh-huh. And then the next day, you're like, I'm chilling. Yeah, yeah. So they're yeah. like, oh, we'll take 700 bucks for your first night. Uh, yeah. You're going to drink $30 For, a yeah, second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that's not bad. Huh, I think it's a good. shifty cruise line move. Wow. Yeah. Could be. That's I don't know, but cruise good. people get after they it. Do. Yeah. That's why they're there. It's yeah, their too. Super Bowl. They've been looking forward to it. <laughs> I've never been on one, but it looks. I mean, we did We did, did, Bur- the, we did yeah. Burt's, and I mean, I saw the awesome. big, you guys looked beat. Wow, I, I almost went to his room on the second night and asked for my check in advance. <laughs> I was fucking losing money. Oh, we were losing money. Left and right. Capsized. <laughs> Bert, make good with that cash. Let's go. Oh, because you guys were playing blackjack and uh, shit? We yeah. were playing Let It Ride when none, neither one of us knew what it was. <laughs> I that let it is ride. a trash <laughs> ass. was like, put it all on whatever. <laughs> Dude, all the tables were full and I sat, it was empty and I sat down I'm like, hey man, you gotta teach me how to play and I didn't really get it. Then I told yeah, the him. guy who's taking your money is going to teach you how to play. First thing, give me your watch. <laughs> uh, text your wife, get that prenup. <laughs> what do you? Uh, huh. You stay at hotels a lot. Yeah. Uh, do you leave anything for the for the cleaning? Yeah, always. Like, what do you do? I, um, it depends. Like, I am not. It's usually like ten bucks if it's three days. Okay. Like, I don't get my room service though, really, okay. unless they come in. Like, I, I, I if I'm that. gone, I don't. And uh, a lot of times, I strip the sheets off the beds for them when I'm done. What? I just like it's like they work hard, man. Like these fucking people. He's like awful. I think that'd See, be like, weird. See, like I just like you strip one the out. Of, I would I say one out of every four. Throw I, the towels in a corner. I, yeah, like I don't, but I also don't like messy shit. So like, huh. I like if I have the towels, like I put. You guys might like just work out of your suitcases when you're in your hotel room. Like everything I goes do. in the dresser with me, and I hang my shit. Really? What? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, if, how, how, what's the minimum nights that you have to be there to do that? One. Are not you one. serious? No, one, on one, I what will are you, not. Forrest Gump? On, on one, you will not. What about Forrest Gump? Yeah. Why'd you put your clothes so fast in the dresser there? I, I tell the bag man to come up and bring my foot locker, and I, <laughs> I, I unpack my dress board. That's so nuts. <laughs> so two nights, you're, you're unloading. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but like, shit. I've never But I'm used always it. performing. I don't like my shit to be wrinkled. Like, you know, like, I look, I'm, it's a fucking... It's a bad enough house to look at in any neighborhood. So like, I, like, <laughs> hey, I'm with you, baby. I gotta, like, you got to yeah, make sure the shutters are painted. Least, like, you sure. know when you see a shitty home and some guy really takes pride in his lawn? <laughs> sure, <laughs> sure. I'm, that's, that's the logic. Uh, yeah. okay. I'm, I'm with you on that, but I never. I. It's always like 10. If I'm there for like five days, it's like 20, you know? Like, sure. Like but I go. Ballpark five bucks a night. Yeah. In and around yeah, there. Yeah, Give yeah, or yeah. take whatever you have yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, but you like, you, They work hard, man, and that's a thankless fucking job. But I also more blown away their carts. All the time. Oh, yeah. little soap, what are you grabbing? Lids. Soap, soap. So yeah, because I use like uh, a lot of like soap and conditioner, and then I also like will take their, their purse, <laughs> <laughs> picture of her son <laughs> next her, to a bottle of Windex. Grab her like. birth control. <laughs> <laughs> but I like I like to take the stuff, and then I I bring it home, and I like uh like I donate the shampoos and stuff. You do? Yeah, like I'll take them to a shelter or like a oh with like. Because, like, you know, like, we use this shit all the time. They just end up in our bags. I'm sure you guys sure. just have rent. Holy like, and they just, shit. It's sitting in your place, right? So, yeah, like, I don't I take don't, it. I don't take much of it. Yeah, I mean, I like that, I t- took it a lot when I was poor. Sure. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And now I just, it's a habit, and I just, like, it's like, this should go to, like, a shelter or something. Like, I just. You're it's donating. Easy. It's the, I mean, I'm stealing to do, I'm doing the yeah, worst. Yeah, it's Robin hood and he yeah, was classy. Yeah. But yeah. here's the thing, though. He if, was if you ever, He was if, a lord. <laughs> <laughs> he was British. Yeah. If you ever walk by those Red carts coat. and they're out there, hey, can I grab a, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they don't, don't give a shit. You're like, yeah. And like, I'm also like, I have this weird thing where like, I'm like, this is all bad for the environment. You know, like, it's so like, I'm like, well, I might huh. as well go to the person who's in the worst environment. Yeah. Sure. 
Yeah, that's dude, you're good. you're such a sweetheart. Yeah, yeah that's nice though. I don't know if it's classy. It's that's, just like thought. Yeah, that's classy, I ain't, dude. Listen, I ain't never donated Have you to been? nobody. <laughs> you donated to anybody? I don't think so. Oh, he yeah. steals from homeless shelters. <laughs> yeah. I played a lottery every now and then. That benefits. That benefits. Those elder... Bible signs that say "get a job." <laughs> Holy and, shit! And you use turns of phrases like a bad house in any neighborhood. I feel like you say you say adorable. Like you'd be like, uh, "Oh man, that donut don't glaze." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <You> southern gentleman. <laughs> Who sucked the jelly out of your donut? <laughs> <laughs> He's drunker than three skunks on a possum's back. What? <laughs> Man. <laughs> oh. Uh, <laughs> Y'all are making me laugh like the Dickens. <laughs> uh, you do say that. I have heard you say <laughs> the, the Dickens. Dickens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> he hit oh. you with a sales pitch right after. <laughs> Boom. Uh, um, okay, yeah. man, that's uh, that's pretty good. When you're at a restaurant, will you stack the plates for the server? Sometimes, but not if it's cluttered. Like I say, I don't like like a I don't like clutter. Okay, so it needs to. You'll if, organize if, if a little bit. The four of us are at a table, and there's like a bunch of we get three appetizers, and everything is like bounding we're, up. We're getting more than three appetizers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you yeah, talking about? about what <laughs> but we're all looking good. We're doing better. <laughs> it's the holidays. Everyone eats and drinks more. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, don't fucking judge. <laughs> <laughs> he loses it. But you're gonna, you're gonna be I a, end up on the wall. You're gonna be on the wall in the room. <laughs> I consolidate, to, like, because sure. I don't like the the mess. I don't like. Yeah, the it, it, it really right it, you, yeah. It, it, it irks me a lot. So I okay. Yeah, that, so that's I think that's why the hotel room stuff too. Like it feels more uniform. Gotcha. Yeah. Strips the sheets. Man. Huh? Do you own any suits? <laughs> like, if you had to go to a wedding tomorrow, what are you wearing? <laughs> uh, I have. No, two si- no, okay. I have two. I have two. Uh, one is a uh, is like a funeral suit, like you just gotta. <laughs> and then the other one, I got, and I don't know why I have it, and it fits so fucking bad. Really, like, it is like the buttons are screaming. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> I like that you have a death. Suit. I do. I do a real like. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude, I hate it's like, that. It's like I'm snapping a football. Ah, <laughs> oh, it's the worst. Especially with the dress pants when they fuck you with the hook on the oh, back. Oh, you gotta go that. You gotta go that extra half an inch or whatever. Yeah, yeah. and then uh, yeah, that, and also it's just like if it doesn't work and you have the button only, mm-hmm. if the hook comes undone, it's sitting out there like a little failure. Oh, oh, it's or... brutal. <laughs> Feel it rubbing against you the whole time. I fucking uh, hate that shit. It's amazing how like as big as I am. How conscious I am of the littlest thing touching me and mm-hmm. like weirding me out like that. Like mm-hmm. if it's a little tight, I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, it's you. It's never, emotional. You feel yeah, you're yeah, like, oh, yeah. it's sticking. It's whatever. Yeah, yeah. I never look like I belong in a suit. I really don't. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm not. We. It's this has been a long running theme on the show of like fat guys in suits. You only look good. You, the best you look is that second. You look in the mirror and you go, I'm ready. And From then on, stay it's away. downhill. Stay away. It's yeah. downhill. God yeah. forbid you got to get into a car uh, to get where you're going. Everything's Jeez, fucking man. wrinkled. Straight to yeah. the bathroom for a retuck. I, I feel like every step I take in suit pants is like, Maybe like a like a ship that's about to get like a bowl <laughs> cut into it. Like it just, I feel like it's gonna tear any. It's just the fucking rivets start picking. My off. pants are as tight as an athlete with a great ass. Is <laughs> like you know, like uh, fucking show it off uh, if you got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, just fucking hugging me, dude. Mm-hmm. It's awful. Do you know how to tie a tie? Not real. Not uh, not without. I can do it with like uh, YouTube, YouTube video. Okay. Yeah, but I know no. Hmm. What's the nice shoe situation at the house? You got nice uh, dress shoes? I got one pair, and they're like, they're obviously out of place on other things. Like, they go with the suit that that's I bought it. them with. It? But Yeah, yeah, okay. but they're not like, I can't. <laughs> if you guys were like, you know, dress nice. What would you, let's uh, say, you're not, you have no suit. What are you dressing nice in? We're going to like a nice dinner. Yeah, we're going to a nice what dinner are you, What are you throwing on? What did I wear on Conan? <laughs> <laughs> that was seven years ago. I just show up in a Grant Hill jersey. <laughs> <laughs> like, I mean, it's, it's just like a, it's a button down of some, kind, uh-huh. like a flat, but it's like, they're like, uh, like, Phil, you know, they're like, uh, what is that company? Duluth or whatever. You know, sure, they're kind of yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a fine quality shirt, but it is not a nice it's shirt. Not a, yeah. It's I the way you. a lumberjack looks good. Sure. I yeah, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. I gotcha. Yeah. When was the first time you had Nutella? <laughs> I don't know, but I do remember 
people talking about it, and I'd be like, oh, yeah. yeah. I, yeah. Knew, I didn't know what it no. was. No, <laughs> And I, I never thought about it. But yeah, it's the best. Like, I, it's like, I do that with so much shit. Oh, but, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I recommend <laughs> books I haven't read. No, oh, it's great. All the, I count documentaries <laughs> as books. <I've> read. <laughs> I like it. Yeah, you know that penguin book? Yeah, that was <laughs> So would you say you were an adult the first time you had Nutella? A hundred percent, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I also, I thought it was healthy, by the way, the people that I was like, I know, I'm still I convinced know. it's not it's, it's not, not healthy. Kip, let's talk about Mint Mobile, baby. Shout out to that Mint Mobile. Woo-wee. Talk about the top of my Christmas list. It's Mint Mobile. You want to know why? How much do you think the plans are? I don't know. A hundred bucks a month? <laughs> Loser. 15 bucks a month they start plans out. You want to know why? No brick and mortar. It's all online. Pass the savings right on to you. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Uh, as always, all other plans come with unlimited talk, text, high-speed data, all delivered on the nation's largest 5G network, baby. 5G! Not the smallest, the largest. That's Please. what they're doing over there at Mint Mobile. Yeah, big. Um, they do it big. Uh, right now, when you switch to Mint Mobile, you buy any three-month plan, they'll give you another three months for free. So that's six months of premium wireless service for the price of free, uh, price of three. It's fantastic. I've been saying it for years. I've been a customer. My family's been a customer before they before this podcast even existed. Could check the tapes. Uh, so it's easy to switch. Uh, all you have to do is change your phone. You don't. You, uh, you don't. It's easy to switch. I apologize. You don't have to change your phone no. or your phone number. The only thing that changes is your bill. For a limited time, buy any three-month Mint Mobile plan and get three more months free by going to mintmobile.com slash garbage. There you go. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it, gang. Do it. Kip, you know about Aura Frames? Do I know about it? I love it. Of course you do. You got the bird one. You got mom one. Everybody gets an Aura Frame. Mm-hmm. You want to know why? Because it's a digital picture frame that you can load up and you can keep it going. You got playlists. It's not like those dusty old photos. You can pull out a nice old picture of you like coming out of the shower with the doing the mohawk with the sure. shampoo. It's a good time. Listen, uh, it's a <laughs> fantastic product and it's such a fantastic product and easy. it makes it an easy gift. It's a... It's a thoughtful, thoughtless gift, if that makes sense. It, yeah. It's easy. It comes in. You about a bing. You about a boom. They get it. They love it. It's one stop shop. You don't have to go here and there and there. Bada bing, bada boom. You get it. It comes in a nice little package. Ship it. Send it right to them. They open it up and and they shit themselves. And you can keep you keep up with the family if you don't live near them. Yeah, guys. If you're looking for a, a Christmas present or a holiday present for someone, for a lady on your list, a mom, a mother-in-law, oh, a sister-in-law, yeah. a wife, a girl, it's the Aura Frame. Don't think you're a hero. Yeah. Uh, this holiday season, listeners can save on the perfect gift by visiting AuraFrames.com slash garbage. That's Aura, A-U-R-A, frames.com slash garbage. Use promo code garbage to get $30 off their best-selling frames. Get yours now before they sell out because they're probably going to. Terms and conditions apply. Do it. Do it. Could the same be uh, said for Orangina? Do you remember the first time you had an Orangina? I, I don't even know what that is. Really? It's like an, I'm not even honestly sure. It's like a, what it's is, like a Sunny D it's a, it's fizzy a, drink, It's right? a European soda. Oh, it's European. I believe so. Can you give that a Google? I, call, I, I, I equate, oh, I equate oh, it to just, Sunny D. You just throw your laptop <laughs> against the wall. <laughs> I think it's European, or they market it like it was your. It seemed like a classier soda. Oh, it's like Avi, like the way they're they're kind of churching it up. Exactly. A bit, so it's like, like a light, sparkling orange drink. It's French. It's French. There you go. Then no, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking frogs. <laughs> hey, they make good fries. My grandfather goes over there, bust. <laughs> Brings me his Foot Locker. Yeah. So I can drink yeah. a lightly you effervescent gonna, orange soda. You in a stupid hat. <laughs> okay. All right. When'd you get your passport? Oh, um, that's good. Uh, 2013. Whoa. Oh, shit. For comedy purposes, yeah, I got an, I got just for laugh. I got new faces. That's why I got. Oh shit! Yeah, that's that, all right. That. And I that passport. My birthday is the fourth of October, and for some reason, my four looked like a nine. So I had um an illegal document that I was traveling with for like no shit. Yeah, because oh, the birthday was off for a decade. I got it fixed this year. So Jesus. Yeah. All yeah. right. Huh. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if that's cla- that's bad, right? I mean, like if it's a problem it, you know it's going to happen again and again. So I think you got it, it in your 20s. Yeah. Yeah. That's not great. Yeah. <laughs> that's not what class. I mean, I had one when I was like 9 cuz my mom was from Ireland. So but like Oh, that's so right. So it's like But then it, we we, you know, we stopped going there like after my folks divorced, so I was like probably thirteen. Like I never okay. used it past 11. Gotcha. gotcha. So okay. I had one to before but but like you had to get also, a new one. Also, we 20. never 
would have had passports if my mom hadn't been from like if my right. mom I had also, been from the, that but was you not, traveled internationally as a young kid that's pretty good you're probably moving guns for the <laughs> IRA or something <laughs> 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 but it's took also a, took a what boat the devil are you talking about <laughs> <laughs> I think that I we've he had it lapsed though that's crazy that seems more nuts to me than not having it you had like, it when I was it like lapsed. 13 if you're 13 and then you're going to see your, I feel like trash. that's something yeah. you stay on top of. Let me of. put yes, this into perspective. I, I got mine at 45. I was 45 when I got my passport. Yeah, I can see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was 45. He got a good... Where did, did you go? Spring break. Please tell me you, like, you thought you were going to Puerto Rico and you thought you needed one. <laughs> Hola! <laughs> California. It's like island Mexico. <laughs> I went to France. Wow. Oh, to get I'm some thinking, orangina. <laughs> I'm thinking of going there uh, next month. Oh, buddy. Yeah. You being serious? Yeah, because I don't, I have like a break in the schedule and like I'm promoting like crazy right now and I'm like, so I'm like, maybe like. Do a, a little something for you. Yeah, but I don't want to go alone. Like you know, like, it's awesome. Paris is awesome. At Christmas. Yeah, I'm sure I mean, we've only been there once. But I'm sure it's beautiful. But I'm like, Christmas I don't want to be like great. the American guy who shows up like <laughs> alone. Who's like, like I'm gonna meet the love of my life. You know, I don't want to sure. be like this guy uh, keeps uh, taking all the sheets off the beds. <laughs> just, just keep randomly bumping into people, <laughs> hoping it's the love of your life. <laughs> oh my god, I didn't see it. Walking up to all these street performers, calling them heroes, you know? <laughs> <laughs> just knocking ladies' purses over so yeah. you can try and touch her hand while you're helping her put it back together. Uh, pardon. <laughs> so I'll just go to Montreal and eat. <laughs> <laughs> go to a strip club. I did it all one day. It was a big deal. <laughs> all right. Ah, oh, man. Do you know how to use chopsticks? Fuck, not. No. Not, uh, I'm not I'm bad. I'm, I'm, like, bad at it. I'm really bad at it. Like, I can do it, but it's... It's sad. I mean, it's, like, it's like the kid you put in right field. Like, sometimes sure. he's going to catch it, sometimes he's not. Yeah. Is there a go-to karaoke song? Uh, uh, Build Me Up Buttercup. Mm. Man, that's a fun one. That that's comes a, on that's a drinking, like, everybody gets involved. Like, sure. that's, the win is that it's, it's, e- it's, it's a easy forever. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. I respect that. Uh, what's the whistling with your fingers situation? Can you do it? Uh, no. No? No, no. I'm, I get too hungry, and then I just start nibbling. <laughs> 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 Can you whistle at all? Uh, yeah, like, but it's not good. No? Like, it's like shot, like... That's classy. Not being able to do that's classy. You think so? What? I whistle mean, with whistle. your fingers? Can you whistle with your fingers? No. I think it's I can't great. whistle at all. I've, ne- I've always been envious of that. And what does that guy usually do? How does that guy usually <laughs> end up? He's the, screaming the, the at someone. The, the kid that you knew. He drives a boat that's a taxi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the kid like, that you knew that could go <laughs> when he was a kid. Yeah, he had a. It's not a doctor. He had a tattoo from his uncle. Yes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> there you go. Kind of shit. Yeah. Hmm. Are yeah. you are you currently signed up into any free trials? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, does digital count? Like, if you're like a Hulu free trial, yes, yeah. any yes, free trial. For sure, I am. Yeah. For sure, like, I have been in my free trials on a million subscription services that I have not canceled. <laughs> okay, yeah, and I'm also part of a class action lawsuit. <laughs> oh, shut God. the fuck oh, up. for who? So the big one just came out that everybody's doing. Uh, the AG, the travel insurance company. That's no. Who no. Oh, they got jammed up? Yeah. They Takara did. had one going with like Rima, R- Lima Rita or something <laughs> yeah, no. like that. What did he have? Yeah, no, Lima Rita. He got like 18 bucks or something. 18 Rita bucks. <laughs> he, he was suing a Buffalo <laughs> Wild Wings. It's just a, it's like their equivalent of Marlboro Miles. Yeah. <laughs> he could have to use it on the website. Wait, AGI. What, what, what do you, what? AGA is like a, you know, when you check out and you're like, do you want to insure and travel insure, insurance? Insure your flight? I always do no because I have a stat, but like this is one of those ones like, I was like, I did it with something, because I think maybe I was renting a car or something like that. Mm-hmm. That's what it was. It was a one of those, when I was renting a car, they're like, do you want to insure? And I was like, yeah, because I'm going to have it for like seven days in LA, so it's probably best. And then it was like, uh, so you just check yes, and they add 10 bucks a day to the car. Or whatever. Mm-hmm. But it's like one of these things, where like, they were charging these things called like um, service fees or something like that, but it's like this thing of like an astronomical rate of something like nuts. 70% of like, they were like really, they were like MLM level kind of like gotcha. digging people on it. So, I mean, I think I'm gonna, I, I'm in one, but I'm, it's like a twenty two dollar. Like these things are not payouts for. <laughs> this is not gonna. How did you get involved in that? Did they reach out to yeah, you? Yeah, because I because they, they used the, like my Shane. Credit. Are you sitting down? <laughs> <laughs> Were you about to say yeah. this is not going to be the one? Like you're waiting on a case to, to change <laughs> yeah, your yeah, life? Yeah. Blow it wide open. <laughs> uh, and also, the pointing does not help. 
I don't appreciate the accusation. You can sit back there in your ivory tower if you want, but I, yeah, like it's a lot of like, uh, like I was like, yeah, this is gonna, it's gonna be like a twenty five dollars settlement. If, if they called to you to testify, would you go? A hundred percent. So there I Buddy, am. I'm in, I look for any kind of attention. So. <laughs> he's up there. Do, he's up there doing the Guy Fieri bit. <laughs> We're in his funeral <laughs> suit. Oh. Ah, uh, huh. Have okay. you ever saved a cigar box for storage? Yes. Oh. Ever written your name in wet it's cement? Filled with, it's filled with keys and concert stub tickets, probably. Why keys? I don't. You know, sometimes you just have a bunch of keys that no. don't fit shit anymore. What? What? <laughs> Wait, man, they're trophies from man, his victims. <laughs> you're really falling apart here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> man. Why? We got like enough. I said, it's been a rough few years. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't seen my friends in a while. Maybe if anyone checked in, <laughs> wouldn't have to drag myself across the finish line. <laughs> Wait, keys. Man, we really got you out in deep water, and, yeah. and you you start drowning. You guys got a three piece. I'm playing. <laughs> thing. I'm just shooting free throws alone. <laughs> Ticket stubs, I get. Yeah. Uh, if I was in somebody's house and I saw a cigar box full of keys, I'd probably leave. I would run. I would check my pockets and back out of the door. It is like, it's a, yeah, it's a fair amount. But they all go to something, and I'm like, because I, sh- I only see that shit when I'm, like, moving or cleaning, something, like, sure. deep cleaning my house. So I'm like, well, maybe I'll find the thing that this tiny key goes to. And I'm like, and, and I'll see, like, a bike lock, and I'm like, no. <laughs> Well, I should probably throw this away. I mean, and then I just don't. <laughs> don't. If they were door keys, that's one thing. But that they're t- the tiny lock. I mean, they're all kinds of keys. They're, they're good. <laughs> <laughs> they're good. I think we finally found I, the, the like, soft spot. I'm <laughs> so embarrassed by this. <laughs> yeah. that I never have been. <laughs> <laughs> they're truly he just, have never been. Like so, I was like, this is normal. Like, it's so funny when a comic, a great comic mind, whose whose whole life is to defend points of view and actions, and he. he he, he literally all could come up with. Well, what are you? Fine. You guys don't have never had keys, and you don't know what they go to. I, not a box full. I got a couple. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. I mean, it's not like a fucking Game of Thrones kind of thing, <laughs> or like uh, Dungeon Master. Yeah, I'm not. But it's less than a hundred for sure. One hundred. <laughs> It's less than a hundred. Seven, I'd give you. Seven. I don't oh, think buddy. I've ever had a hundred keys in I, my I, life. I would give you a couple from your last apartment. Yeah. That's the leeway. That's, you. Dude. You, who, what? You have a hundred things with locks on them? You the postmaster I, general? <laughs> I just have a I, yeah, I don't, I don't, I mean, I don't have a hundred things, but I have a hundred keys that go to the things. But, dude, that's, shit. that's crazy. I also, I find keys to be, like, uh, sentimental for some reason, and I can't remember what they go <laughs> to. They're like, they're like jewelry. Okay. So pocket. funny. All right. All right. Will you wear clothes and return them if you have, like, if you got something going on? No, if I buy something, like, returning something at the store is, like, or sending something back at a restaurant is, to me, I'm like, not happening. if you guys did it. I would be like, okay, they're like they're my friends, but I would be very, I'm usually no very, kidding. I'm usually very embarrassed by it. Oh, I am too. And if somebody think... fucks it up, so, so bad. bad. If they bring yeah. you the chicken and you yeah. ordered the steak, yeah, yeah, that's sure. like, yeah, that. Hey, but I like, got the wrong but thing, like but... taking things back, I don't I'm think saying, I've ever done it. I also don't want to deal with like burgers medium. You wanted a medium rare. You're not. That's, uh, yeah, who gives a yeah, shit? Yeah, like the, these people are working. Sure, like, you know, but like it's also this also might be. I've never done it with food, but like if I bought like, well, hold on. I just remember this. Some keys. <laughs> you know when you yeah. order a box of keys? <laughs> Blank keys. Like, Blank keys. You know, when yeah, you're... The possibility they can all be cut and shaped into whatever you want. It's kind of like a metaphor for your life. But uh-huh. some of them don't ever shape out. And, they open, and then no door opens and you have a roommate. <laughs> I did go to, uh, I was in Austin. I went to Best Buy. I had to do a podcast and I didn't have my... Mike, so I went and bought one okay. with the intention of returning it. That's right. okay. Oh, yeah, that's that's that's, 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 on. that's, this is when I brought it back, that's playing the game. When I brought it back, though, the girl was like, oh, why are you returning this? And I was like, what? <laughs> like, she goes, they why think are you that's they, like they think that's going to stand up in a court of law. Well, well I think they're, 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 they they I I got defensive about it. I was like, because I don't want it. Mm-hmm. And and then. She goes, oh, we have to see if they're defective. Like, they can't put them back on the shelf. Well, yeah, no, it's, uh, it's more so, of, like, a quality control thing. Like, were they not working? Yeah, and no I, but I, 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 that's how I know, like, I'm, like, a piece of shit in some way, like, or have been. It's because I'm like, 
they automatically think I'm doing a grift, <laughs> which I am. <laughs> but they don't know that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beard trimmer in the yeah, box. Yeah. I was on Colbert, lady. I don't need this for you. Put on your blue shirt and get the fuck out of my face. I was on Colbert. <laughs> uh, huh. Have you ever had one of those hoodies with the thumb hole or the thumb sleeve? For sure. Oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, Toby, you must have. No. You're a fucking liar. I can see it from a mile away on you. <laughs> Okay, now that I, yep, I yeah. did, and I cut them myself. Yeah, yeah, a lot of people were cutting them themselves. Yeah, no, dirt bag. Mine came, uh, mine came uncut. Or I cut, always thought that cut. was like a hot chick move. It, um, no, it was like a skater punk thing. Yeah, but it was definitely like a thing cute girls do. I think they still do. Like, I think hot chicks still have like the, the it's oversized come, Stuff hoodies. is coming back. Like, yeah. fashion from our youth is coming back sure. a bit. So. I like that. Yeah. Hmm. Do breakfast in bed? Do you eat in your room? Uh, rarely in my room. Okay. And my, I don't want to do it. It's, this is a bit on the special, but I do get my hotel room. I always get with two beds so I can eat in one of them. All and, right. And use it as a napkin. I'm a, yeah, that's a classy. Napkin. Okay. Yeah. That's classy. I, wait, is it, hold on. You use what as a napkin? The bed, bed. sheets. Really? That's why yeah. he's taking them off. Yeah. <laughs> all right. That's also, that, that, might, that might be how that started. Uh, I had see, ribs. Hold on a second. <laughs> uh, well, you got a famous Dave's across the street. What am I going to do? <laughs> you wait a minute. Eat, wait man. a minute. Wait a minute. All right. Okay. <laughs> so you're just taking the sheet and wiping and. and oh, yeah. I'm like. I do the I do a bit on that, so I don't want to like yeah no the of course bit, but like yeah a hundred percent I'll be like and just like really get yeah, ah this yeah. guy's coming apart at the seams here what are I we used talking to, well I've been alone like I said no one checked in on me <laughs> <laughs> huh man will you buy stuff at the duty free shop just so I'm I'm just curious right sure. now I don't know how far into the game we are <laughs> you're not doing <laughs> but, great but am I way behind or can I <laughs> can I get a last second field goal off. <laughs> Let's just say that if you were to pull this out, ESPN would make a documentary yeah. about an unbelievable. It would be There'd like be a, a thirty for thirty. <laughs> yeah, right. I think you would have to dedicate a wing of a well, hospital. I'm fine to as get long as it's this. not a Netflix untold. <laughs> <laughs> you would need a couple of touchdowns and a couple of onside kicks. So, like, my winning percentage on the meter is dropping. Yes. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. If anybody wants to make crazy money right now and put twenty on Torres, it's, it's, it's five thousand to one, dude. <laughs> Twenty on Torres. Nice little parlay. <laughs> Let's see if I can rev it up. If you're, but ask you, me if I read. <laughs> <laughs> if you're eating at the house, you do it on the couch watching TV. Yeah, yeah. Coffee is, table. Is there any hot sauce on that coffee table? A it, lot of the time there is. Okay, that just stays there. No, not what? No. Some people live like that. Yeah, just yeah, leave some people, it on yeah. the coffee the table. The condiment ketchup might stay out there because it's no. like you, you you take the dishes to the thing and then that's no, that. No, 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 no. It all goes back to a place. Okay. How many, what's the, what's the silverware set in the apartment? Now, there's a curve, single mostly, guy. Mostly matching. Mostly matching. That's pretty good. How many forks would you say you have? I think we have a half dozen of every utensil-ish. You know, that's like, good. That's yeah. pretty good. Four to eights per eights a lot. If you have eight, eight of everything, you also don't need. Who needs eights? Yeah, no. Ever, you know, unless sure. You it. Yeah, sure. And so, let's say you make something. Are you cleaning it right away and putting everything back? <laughs> seventy thirty, <laughs> like seventy thirty. Yeah. yeah Before I go to bed, phone. most of the time it gets clean. Okay. All right. I'll well, if I'm it. cooking. It gets clean that night for sure. Okay. Yeah. All yeah. right. Because I don't like, I worry about bugs and shit. Sure. sure. Where, uh, what was the last uh, Uber Eats or Postmates? Looks like somebody's making a little comeback. <laughs> 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 you know, they're not quite out of this yet, Al. <laughs> the pass rush holds. We'll be <laughs> what was the last delivery meal you got? Oh, man. Um, man, I would never answer that. Are just we, ta are we yeah. talking amount or cuisine? <laughs> just give me the name of the joint. Uh, yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Plead the fifth, uh, talk guy. Air, I'm with you. El Pastor. Okay. Yeah. All right. There you go. And did you? You don't have to answer. Did you go tacos, burritos? I go giant burrito, lots of chips and salsa. Amen. And some, uh, usually like um. An it's restaurant. your heritage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I, I disagree. Can you imagine an Irish themed, like, <laughs> the, like a real Irish fast food, yeah. right? just Wendy's? <laughs> it's funny. I don't like this line of questioning, to be honest with you. No, no. I was, I was just, about to start like, defending I, you. I, Jay, don't answer that. No, I asked for the place, and then I just asked for the tight, the what. And what, then you squoze in what the order is. No, he volunteered yeah, that. I, volunteered I said, I did think. you go tacos or burrito? Like, I didn't ask quantity. I go, but I go a lot. Also, I'm not I like what I like. It's the only good Mexican food I have in New York. So, okay. like, because I think most of the Mexican food here is shit. So, I will go 
I'll eat myself into pain. Okay. Yeah. It's I've been the buddy. Me too. Yeah, I'm right there with you. You know, somebody said to me the other day, like, <laughs> fucking Bert, <laughs> of all people, goes, we were talking about my weight, and he goes, you know, like, but you only eat when you're hungry. And I was like, do you think I'm fat because I only eat when I'm hungry? <laughs> yeah, I hide That's, it real well. Like, the craziest thing I've ever, like, fat people aren't fat because they only eat when yeah. they're hungry. <laughs> yeah. It's bananas. That's like, like I I'm remember. I'm constantly overfilling my tank. Sure. I, I remember I heard this girl's like, oh, Kevin never eats. And I was like 310 pounds. And I was just like, yeah, I'm doing it at midnight by myself at a McDonald's. <laughs> just a light from a fridge opening <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah. I'm not doing it at the dinner with everybody. Yeah. Trying to hold it together a little bit. Yeah. Keep up appearances. Huh. I mean, I got one or two left as a formality at this point. <laughs> as a formality. <laughs> Anybody in the family have an associate's degree? Just an associate's degree. Do I you am, have an associate's I am the closest. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's it. <laughs> I am definitely the closest. Uh, three credit shy, baby. Buddy, I don't know what to tell you. Uh, yeah. Oh, God, it's getting rough. Uh, <laughs> but yeah. you lost a class action lawsuit with AYG. Yeah. Also, You're trash. It also took me five years to graduate high school. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, man. man. I love you. But Woo! you are. You fell apart at the seams. COVID yeah. was difficult for a lot of people. <laughs> You really got away with it for a long time. You're like Whitey Bulger. You, you've been on the run. You've been on the run from us for about two years. You picked up Long, pick me up in Long Beach, yes. wearing a tracksuit with a bike, Kango hat, and a pair of sunglasses. <laughs> Nine Tobies out of the car. Put your hands up. Man. Ah, man, Mr. Shane Torres. We love you, buddy. The special you is Thanks the Blue Eyed Mexican. Mm -hmm. It's on your YouTube page. It was produced by Leanne and Burke Kreischer. Mm -hmm. It's also on Burt's YouTube page. One of the funniest guys working, one of the funniest guys out there. You got to check out the special if you haven't already. Mr. Shane Torres. Thank you guys. So Buddy, much. thank you Seriously. so much. Man. What else you got coming up? Uh, plug dates, everybody to know? plug whatever um, you want, website. I got, okay, yeah. ShaneIsComedian.com. Uh, Shane Torres across all the social media platforms. I have a podcast with the great Kyle Kinane called No Accounting for Taste, ah. mm -hmm. where we defend things that people think are... Um, Corny or... Yeah, 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 like, yeah, like, like yeah. Disney adults or something sure. like that. We try and figure out why people do it. And then... Um, <laughs> I'm touring a lot. I got the new special out, Blue Eyed Mexican, on YouTube, mine and Birch channels. That's the huge thing. So if you guys see it, share it, like it. Check it out, gang. Yeah. He's one of the yeah. best. One of the best. Please. One of yeah. the absolute best. One of the greatest hangs of all time as well. We can't thank you enough for being here. I Congratulations. Love you guys Thanks Thanks for for having having we love you, buddy. Kippy, yeah. what do you got for him? Uh, guys, again, Town Hall Theater, New York City. Let's sell that fucking Let's thing out. Uh, we fucking love you. We appreciate you. It's our biggest show to date. Uh, thank you for all the support. See you next week, gang. Peace. Peace.